The two data samples represent pH measurements made from two rivers A and B and we consider these to be paired data samples because each pair of values in each row represents a unique measurement from different pH meters M1, M2, M3 and M4. And to compare the mean values we will use a paired t-test stat basic statistics paired t-test. We have the samples in different columns and we will put the first sample as river A and the second sample as river B. We are told that the paired t-test actually evaluates the difference between the two samples by taking A minus B in this case. Under options we could choose the two-tailed test by using the not equal alternative or a one-tailed test either less than or greater than. We will stick with the two-tailed test. OK, OK. The t-test measures for a mean difference in the pH as being either zero or not zero, calculates a test value of 3.7 and a p-value of 0 0.034. Because this is less than 0 0.05, we can reject the null hypothesis that there is no difference and conclude that there is a difference between the pH of the two rivers. And we are also given the confidence interval for the mean difference and we're told that it, it is between 0 0.0169 and 0.223, which is a positive difference. And because we took the difference as being A minus B, a positive difference suggests that A has a pH value that is significantly greater than B. We can also test for a difference in median values. And for that, we have to use the non-parametric test and we will use a one sample Wilcoxon test for the difference, but we see it is looking for one variable. In fact, before we can conduct this test, we have to calculate a new variable, which is the differences between A and B. So we will use calculate, calculator, and we will create a new variable, which is A minus B, which we will calculate as being A quite simply, minus b, click OK. So we have created a new variable, which is just the differences between each of these paired variables. And we now have to do a one sample Wilcoxon test to test whether the median value of these differences is equal to zero or not. So we have stats, non-parametric tests, one sample Wilcoxon test, we select our derived variable A minus B. We wish to test whether the true median of the differences is zero. And again, we can choose one tailed or two tailed test, but remaining with the two tailed test, we click OK. And we get the results of the Wilcoxon test with the statistic and a p value of 0 0.1. So the non-parametric paired Wilcoxon test is unable to detect a significant difference in the median values of the pH of the two rivers.